are the Watson family. In 2018, we traded our typical suburban life for one of daring and adventure. We travel the country full time in our RV, working travel nurse assignments along the way. Even though we have traveled many miles and our eyes gazed upon amazing views, we still can't wait to load up and ask, but where are we going? We hope you will stick around and join us on this adventure of a lifetime. Today is day one of sharing our lives with you. There are tons of videos on YouTube or YouTube channels that show you a very curated version of what full-time RV living looks like. And we wanted to give you an honest look at what it looks like for our family. Now granted, everybody's family may not be the same. Maybe some RV families really do live a curated life. Nothing is ever out of place. Everything's perfectly decorated. That is not our story, and so we're gonna give you an honest version of what that might look like. Today, the house is a mess. We have a small Jedi running around with a dangerous weapon beating me. Yeah. Um, anyway, today's goals are to clean up. We're gonna do a little video editing, and I'm actually gonna start tinting the windows on our RV. Uh, that's just another little side project. We're in Phoenix, Arizona right now, so it's pretty hot. We're gonna do a little test of seeing if window films help uh, keep the heat out a little bit. Anyway, please join us. The videos may be boring, but they're gonna be real. So you may get some really funny and um, genuine moments with us. I'm Scott. This is Obi, the Jedi warrior. This is my wife, Candy, right here. Hello. She'll be a main part of the, uh, the videos. And then our daughter is in the bathroom right now. She's a tween, so she'll probably be in there a long time. Anyway. tent cutting the size I'm not a professional and I've only done this one before and it uh, came out pretty crappy looking so hopefully this works better this time the goal is to cut it to fit from the outside and then I'll apply it to the inside of the window once it's cut to fit. So I've started a new uh, workout regimen. I have a goal of losing 50 pounds by the end of the summer. And end of the summer for me is gonna be when we leave Phoenix. So around the end of August. Uh, swimming is my favorite uh, way of working out. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Go. Undies off. There he goes. Yes, I have been his coach throughout these three days. All of his training has led up to this moment. He shall be filmed. Dump, dump, dump. 
the stress is very low. Dum 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 dum. It's like Jaws. Da 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 da. Dum so the AC unit in the house is low power and it's a little bit hotter than it's supposed to be, even though it's like 100 outside. So I'm gonna go back and do some troubleshooting. Lost my place in line at the gym. You have to wait in line at this RV park for the gym. So that's a bummer. Go back and wait in line. I gotta figure out this AC thing. Does not look like the AC situation is getting any better. Looks like we might need a new one. We'll report back. <laughs> So I got my swim workout in and uh, came home to find out that one of our three air conditioners is not working. So taking it apart, try to figure out what's going on with it. I think it might be overheating, but I'm just not sure yet. So it has been cleaned. I cleaned it about a month ago. So I don't think that's the issue, um, but we do have two other ACs. So it's not, not too hot in here yet. Another thing I wanted to point out is this is the original one air conditioner that came in this RV. This RV is an 89, so it's at least over 30 years old. It might just be time. I don't know. It's 104 degrees outside right now. So I definitely hope that the air conditioner is willing to be fixed. Um, yeah, I don't know. Not the kind of expense that we really want right now, but it is a 30 year old air conditioner. So there's that. just got electrocuted. Sorry I didn't get it on film for you guys. Maybe I should have turned off the breaker first. Yeah, we're gonna turn off the breaker now. That's the next step. I got fried. Black fingers and it went right in there. Ooh, yikes.
we're gonna turn it on, give it about 10 minutes, whoa, and see if it continues to work. What happened earlier, uh, it just said low power, so we turned it off, and then when we turned it back on, it lasted for about 10 minutes. Yeah, it was off for about an hour, and then I turned it back on, worked for about 10 minutes, and then it has, a, it's a pretty old unit, so it has a little red light that turns on, it says low power, and then it stopped cooling, so. Yeah, so it remains to be seen <laughs> what's gonna happen next. I'm now feeling especially juiced up. Yeah, since you got electrocuted. Okay, so let's see. Volts. <laughs> ah! Last couple of days of Candy's fun employment and uh, getting started really late today. Everybody slept in super late this morning. So uh, it's like 10.30 in the morning. Already 95, 96 degrees out right now. Just taking the dog for a walk. So while Candy is in the process of making breakfast, I've got a small project. Obi's bike needs a kickstand on it, so I've got a kickstand here. I'm gonna install that really quick. Thank you for breakfast. You're welcome. Candy made this lovely breakfast for us this morning. We're gonna have breakfast outside. Mm -hmm. Enjoy some of this beautiful Arizona morning. I'm working on video editing from our Disney World trip, our recent Disney World trip. So. I'm about three quarters of the way through of actually compiling footage together, so it's gonna be a while. I haven't done the music um, and some of the fine tune editing yet, but it's kind of a long process. I'm learning how to use a Mac, it's my very first Mac computer, and learning how to use Adobe Premiere Pro, which I've never used before, so, you know, steep learning curve, like this much. <laughs> Oh, 
Let me show y'all. It's very funny. <laughs> I've got the winning so far. Mm. <laughs> Let me get the ingredients. Here's the pan. Yeah, she used the black pan the pink and the blue pink. Alright, let me get the chips. Right now I'm gooey because they aren't cooked. Let me get the cooker. This is what we use to butter. Nice. It's really buttery. All right, now let me get some ingredients, some seasoning. Some seasoning. Let me get the flip. Perfect. Done. Table 242. Table 242, is that you? Is that your method of payment for your meal? Yeah. Tickets. Yeah, tickets. Here. There you go. What'd you order, Sonora? There you go. You don't get the whole bag. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ate the chips. All right, next customer play. Walking doggo. We are making something very good, and I'm going to have whipped cream today when it's done. I like dairy. Alright, so here's the splash around the button. Splash around. 107 today. AC still kind of on the fritz. We are going to the pool because there's not much else to do but roast. So my work on the AC last night did not fix the issue cleaning the inside coils. So currently cleaning the outside coils. Let's see here. Boom. Hopefully this stuff works. It is Frost King foaming decleaner, decleaner, foaming cleaner, uh, low VOC formula, heavy duty. Anyway, hopefully it works. If not, Probably we'll have a tech maybe look at it. It is 33 years old, so we'll see what happens. Um, otherwise, it might be a new AC in our future, but I want to exhaust all my options first. All right, Sequoia and Obi-Wan. All right, start your swords and face each other. 